Bobay and welcome back to Lutong Pinoy Fast Break. This is your home cook, Chris. Today, I'm going to show you how I cook my relleno and of course, how to debone our bangos. So here's what you need. You need four cloves of garlic, frozen green peas, yellow onion or red onion, carrot, your kitchen twine, or you can use the elastic one, uh, raisins, ground black pepper, salt, toyomansi. Now, if toyomansi is not available, you can put a regular soy sauce and two whole lime. Just squeeze the lime later on. I will show you. And of course, our bangos. Okay, so first, put this aside. Okay, and then. Before you begin, start, put a, you know, a, a pot, put, put water in it, okay, turn on your stove, so we want, we want the, the, the water start boiling later on, so we need to start that first, okay. Now, second, you need to trim your, your bangos, the tail, just like that, let's use this one, just trim that. Okay, and then grab a grocery bag. Okay, grocery bag. Grab a steak knife or any kind of knife. I prefer using the steak knife. Okay, we're going to scale this. Okay, we're going to put the bangos inside the grocery bag and basically just start scaling so this will prevent the scales to uh, be all over the place okay just like that so we'll be back okay so we're done uh, removing the scales so make sure you wash it okay so next grab a knife and slice it from here okay like that don't go all the way through okay and then let's break the bone on this side okay so if you can't do that grab a scissors and snip that bone like that okay now once you do that grab your spatula okay spatula let me work it over here and then go in between the the skin and the meat of the fish okay so basically just work that then just push your your spatula just be careful don't go see you you see that spatula is over there already okay so just push that just like that Okay, so do that around, just like that. Okay, and be careful once you reach the fins right here, okay, try to avoid that bone inside of the skin right there okay try to avoid that okay so basically do that on the other side too okay so we'll be back okay so as you can see the skin is loose already all the way around okay all the way around so it's loose so now here that this bone right here just snap that okay let's break that okay there you go now here's the fun part the bone where you snap use that to push the the meat out just like that 
See? Okay, just push it all the way through. Okay. Then there's your fish right there. Okay. Then just pull this back. So there's your skin right there, right? Okay. So next, I'm going to finish up the other one and I'll show you later on what what's the next step. Okay, so now the two bangos are done. Okay, so put your skin in a bowl. Okay. All right. And this is the, the time to put your toyomansi. Okay. Just like that. We just want to make sure that the skin is, you know, will marinate in our brine here which is like i said it's toyo and calamansi okay or if you don't have calamansi you can use lime okay so we're going to put this aside okay so here's our meat right here so remember we just push all the way so the 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 gut of the bango is still here so we need to remove that Okay, just basically in that. Just be careful not to poke this one, the bile. It's going to be bitter, okay? Just like that. Remove that. Okay. Rinse it. Okay, put it in a bowl just like that. Then let's do the other one. Remove the gut. Just like that. Wash it. Cold water, okay? Okay. So once it's, it's done, put it here. Remember our boiling water? Okay. Let's grab our water here. Okay, and just pour that water on your bangos. The reason why we're doing this, this will help you debone the, the bangos. It's a lot easier. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to leave this just like that. I'm going to clean up a little bit and we'll be back. So next, let's grab our garlic. Remove the skin. Okay. If you have a uh, minced garlic already, you know, that's fine too. You can use that. Just a side. Twine. Okay, put it here. And then our onion. Just remove the top. We are going to dice this up. Remember my previous video, I showed you how to dice the onion. Like that. Okay. 
see cut it in half okay then don't go all the way through okay see that's the reason why I, we did not cut the the bottom part of the onion see it's still intact so it's much easier to dice it up okay just like that half will be enough okay then our carrot peel this off By the time you we're done uh, doing our carrots and everything, the bangus meat is uh, ready to be deboned. Just like that. Okay, cut it in half. Just cut like that. And then so that will help you the 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 cart will not move around so just cut the bottom part just like that okay and just like that okay then cut it into strips just like that finish cutting into strips then dice it okay so we'll be back let me just finish uh, dicing all these uh, carrots here okay so we're done dicing the onions so here's the fun part okay so now it's been uh, soaking here for about five minutes okay so take the water off like that and basically we grab a fork okay see okay just like that so that's how we remove the you know be careful it's still hot <laughs> remove the meat okay just like that okay and then basically just start picking your your bone just like that that's the fun part <laughs> all right we'll see you later so here we have we debone our fish already our bangos so as you can see the bone is whole piece okay all right so next get a pan turn on your stove put your cooking oil or I'm using olive oil here about two tablespoons there okay. and then Let's add our garlic. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of versions out there, you know. At least now uh, you know how to debone the fish. I mean, removing the, the meat. Okay. Onion. Let's wait until the onion is translucent. Wait. 
then uh, let's put our raisins about half cup the reason why I'm putting the raisins now because you want to ex extract the the sweetness of the the grapes okay uh, I'll well put everything there right there okay that's the reason why I'm putting the raisins now okay next carrots okay and then oops we had our bangos you can see the the meat still like in flakes that's how i want my my bangos okay stir that okay let's put our ground black pepper about half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of salt okay now sometimes you miss some bone so while you're sauteing this you know, sometimes you'll see bone just basically just like this one right here pick it up that's another one and let's put our green peas now some you know some they put hard-boiled eggs on their uh, relleno, relleno bangos. Okay, so another couple more minutes here, and then we're done. Okay, and remember we soak it in hot boiling water, and then we're going we stir frying it. After stir frying it, we're gonna. Uh, fill this inside the bango skins and then after that I'm going to fry it Some they bake, you know, I prefer Frying it Okay, it's not a long time to cook this. I mean you don't have to overcook it because again We still need to fry this later on Okay, so we're done. We'll be back. We're gonna wait you know until it's it's warm enough to handle the meat okay so we'll see okay so our filling is uh, warm so now here's our bangos okay it's been marinating in the uh, Toyo Mansi Okay, here, then grab a spoon, and start filling your bongos, okay, just like that. Oops. Okay. And kind of shake it. And push the filling all the way to the back. Okay. Just like that. So we'll be back. 
Okay, so now it's filled already with the bangos meat. Now put this aside. Okay, and then get your kitchen kitchen twine about a foot. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Get your needle. Okay. If you don't have needle available, okay, just grab a knife. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you real quick. A knife and just poke it. Okay. All right. So next, put it inside the mouth. that okay don't go all the way through then start from the top that here Then flip your bangos. There. Another one. Here. And one more. Right on top. Okay. And then put it back inside the bangus mouth. Like that. Okay. Now we have that. Pull, pull more. This little bit. That. That. Okay. So before we tie it up. grab more of your bangus meat put it here okay then put some inside the head right here too okay then pull this two string Okay, once you pull that two string, grab the one in the bottom, put that under that string, then pull it. Then we tie a knot. Okay, so we'll be back. I'm just going to fill up the other one, okay, and then we're ready to fry them. Okay, so it's done. Now we're ready to fry. Now, I don't have a frying pan that is big enough to fry the, the bango, so... I have a a pan here uh, that I bought back in Philippines about three weeks ago. Uh, you can cook eight kilos of pancit over here. Um, I think I paid five hundred uh, five hundred fifty pesos 
Okay, so turn on your stove. Add oil. Okay. Then, while waiting for this, I will show you a simple garnish. I mean, you don't necessarily need to need to uh, make garnish, but I'll just show you a simple one. I just thought I would like to share it to you guys. All right, so first, cut it in half. Just like that. Okay. Then slice it really thin, but don't go all the way through, just like that. You don't have to do this. Okay. Just like that. And basically, just simply doing this. Okay. That. Okay, put it here. Then carrot got it from here snip this one out basically you just we're just cutting into squares okay just like that Let's check our oil a bit more. Okay, then just go to that corner right here. Just like that. you have a flower like that so keep going all right Oh, he broke. <laughs> Just like that. Now you got the idea. Okay. So, let's head back over here. That's good to go. Now let's fry our... Bangos. A little bit more. I think that's good. All right. 
So fry your bangos. The other one. Okay. Lower down your stove to medium. Okay, so we're gonna fry this until it's, it's nice and golden brown and then we're going to flip it. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, so after frying it, we're ready to serve. So before serving, uh, remove the kitchen twine. Okay, so well, we're gonna plate it. Okay, so let's grab one of these. Put it here and here. Okay, and then be careful. Put it right there. Okay, then get a tomato. Just put it here. And then, let's see here. Ketchup. Put this aside. Grab a ketchup. That. And let's put our cucumber. And our carrots. Okay, put this aside. So here's your Rilia ng Bangos. Again, thank you so much for watching Lutong Pinoy Fast Break. This is your home cook, Chris. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.